Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be discussing the details of the Advanced Course's development environment. Specifically, we're going to be going over uh, what the setup of our development environment for this course is going to be, and then we're going to go over what the uh, directory structure of the files we're going to be using in this course uh, are going to follow. Uh, for example, how the web application directories are going to be organized, how the lecture examples and homework solution directories are going to be organized. We're also going to talk about a uh, piece of software written in PHP called PHP Documenter, uh, which is something that we're going to be using in this course to document all of the uh, web application uh, function files and class files that we're going to be developing. And we're going to explain a little bit about what that is and uh, what, what that documentation looks like. We're also going to have a quick note for uh, previous educator.com PHP students who have taken the introductory course to just mention some uh, slight changes that have been made to the uh, educator store web application from the end of the uh, introductory lesson until the beginning of this advanced lesson. And then we're going to introduce uh, our first homework challenge for this course. And homework challenges for those students uh, new to uh, educator.com are basically challenges that I provide at the end of uh, many different lessons to give you uh, extra activity to work on so that you can reinforce and learn some of the concepts that we went over in a particular lesson. So the development environment setup we're going to be using for this course is actually the same that we used in the introduction to PHP course. And basically that's comprised of a couple of different pieces of software, specifically the Firefox web browser. That's the web browser we're going to be using for our development. We're also going to be using the XAMPP for Windows software distribution. And for those of you again new to Educator, the XAMPP software distribution is basically a software package that bundles PHP along with the Apache web server and makes the installation and configuration of those two easy. And in addition, it also provides the MySQL database. And because this is advanced course, we're going to be dealing with MySQL database, we're going to take advantage of that piece of software that's added to the distribution as well. Additionally, we're going to be editing our text files and doing our code development in the PSPAD text editor for Windows. If we go and just look at our web browser, um, you can see that uh, quickly this is, M Mozilla is the maker of the Firefox web browser, so this is the page that you would go to for to download the Firefox software. And all of these uh, links are going to be, uh, are available in the introductory lesson. Uh, this website called apachefriends.org is the maker of the XAMPP for Windows software distribution. And this website tells a little bit about the different versions of the software, uh, for example, Apache, PHP, and MySQL that are included in the distribution we're going to be using. And then uh, PSPad.com is where you can download the, uh, the editor for uh, the text editor that we're going to be using. Additionally, we're also going to be using the Firebug add-on to Firefox, which is a web development tool uh, that you can add on to Firefox to help you when working with web applications and diagnosing different problems. And actually, if I click on this, uh, it's already installed here on this little bug down here at the bottom of the screen. You can see the Firebug add-on pop up, and we'll be working with that in this course specifically when we're uh, learning about HTTP and how that works. So um, in lecture three of the introductory course, that basically contains all the instructions for setting up the development environment we're going to be using in this course. So for those of you that are new to educator.com, uh, I encourage you to go check out uh, lecture three to find out how to set up the environment. It basically walks through, through all the different steps to get things up and running. And what that's going to allow you to do is, is to hopefully be able to mimic the things that we do here in the lectures on your own home computer. Additionally, uh, there's a lecture 28 titled uh, Sending Email Using PHP that's part of that introductory course. And that also has uh, some configuration, uh, makes some configuration changes to development environment that allows you to send email from your PHP code. And we use that in our educator store web application. So as far as the uh, course is course goes, the lecture material or the course examples such as the web application, the lecture examples, and uh, the homework solutions are all going to be uh, combined into a particular directory structure. And when you go to the advanced PHP courses website, you'll be able to download a zip file that contains all of the 
homework examples, lecture examples, and uh, versions of the web application. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do now is just sort of go over the structure of that uh, zip file and basically how the, the files are going to be structured within our web tree or the document root of our Apache server. So first thing is uh, we're going to be creating a, f a file called advanced underscore PHP in the document root of Apache. And if we go to that, I've already gone in and, and basically unzipped this file that you're going to be able to get from the website. And if you look at uh, in XAMPP, if we go to the XAMPP installation directory, there's an htdocs folder, which is the document root of the Apache web server bundled with XAMPP. And we have an advanced underscore PHP folder. Now within that folder, there's going to be three different folders. One uh, that's homework underscore solutions, which basically uh, has a folder for each lecture that has a homework challenge and provides a solution for it. There's also a lecture examples folder, which provides uh, copies of all the examples that we run as we go through the lectures in the course. And probably most interestingly is the web app uh, folder. And what that does is that contains all of the different versions of the Educator Store web application that we're going to be developing and building on as we go throughout this advanced course. So for each version of the web app, there will be a separate folder that's going to contain all the files for that particular version of the web application. Here you can see we have version 0.0, .0 and basically what that is is that's sort of the baseline web app that we're going to start from. Uh, because we had already been developing this web app in the introductory course, we're going to sort of baseline the app at version 0.0, .0 and we're going to say this is where we're going to start from, and this is what we're going to, the version that we're going to add on to as we, as we add new concepts in this uh, course. Additionally, there's also going to be a file called changelog.html within this web app folder. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to be a uh, HTML file you can view in your browser that's going to allow you to see all of the different changes that were made when going from one version to the next. So it, it'll help you uh, when looking at the different versions of the web app rather than just looking at the source code to see the changes, you'll be able to go to changelog.html and see any specific changes that were actually made.